Understanding Recodes in System 1. This video has been commissioned by the NIHR Southwest Peninsula Clinical Research Network and produced by Will Moyle. All inquiries to will.moyle at nhs.net. Coding in the GP record is really important as it allows practices, CCGs and other healthcare professionals to search for a specific cohort of patients. It also enables extractions to take place for other purposes such as population health management, ensuring that the right services are commissioned for our patients. Read codes are also responsible for triggering these icons that appear in the patient demographic box. These are called status alerts. As you can see, this patient has COPD, CHD, breast cancer, along with several other conditions that have status alerts assigned to them. This is because of codes that have been added to the patient's GP record. Codes are also responsible for certain pop-ups triggering when you open a patient record. As you can see, this pop-up has appeared because there is a read code in the patient record suggesting they have a similar name to other patients at the practice. Read codes are structured in the form of a hierarchy. We're going to have a look at how the read codes look in the clinical system and how this hierarchy works. First of all, we will search for the term we're looking for, such as asthma. And as you can see, we've got the read code description, the old CTV code, any flags associated with this, including this icon here, which has got a spine with a green tick. This means that it's in the summary care record inclusion set and will be uploaded to the patient's summary care record when the patient record is saved. This can be accessed by the out of hours service, ambulance, urgent care and general practice. We also have the SNOMED code concept ID on the right hand side. Looking at the asthma hierarchy, as you can see here, we have asthma on the top as the parent code and several codes underneath this, which are the children codes. As you can see, under each child code, there are further codes which are more specific, such as an acute exacerbation of asthma, the cause of that, or severe asthma, severe, persistent and uncontrolled asthma. Now, if we want to review the hierarchy above asthma, we click on this icon here, step one level up in the hierarchy. And this shows that asthma sits underneath the disorder of respiratory system parent code in the SNOMED browser. And then here we've got asthma and all of the child codes that come off of asthma. Ideally, patients would be coded specifically. For example, a patient with severe, uncontrolled, persistent asthma would be coded with this. However, in reality, these patients may just be coded as severe, persistent asthma, severe asthma, or simply just asthma. And this is why when creating a clinical report or search, we must ensure that we select the option to include codes and the child codes that sit underneath it. So by selecting asthma, it will also include all of the child asthma codes. We're now going to look at how to add a read code or SNOMAD code to the patient record. Nationally, there are two sets of codes agreed for research, one for research studies and one for clinical trials. For ease, these have been added to the national research template which has been kindly shared by our colleagues in another CRN. Instructions on how to download this will be in another video. Once the template has been downloaded into your clinical system, to access it, you need to have a patient record open, and in this bottom left-hand box that says Search Features, type Research, and select the icon that has the green tick CRN Research Activity Coding Template version 1.0. Once the template loads, the front page will have instructions on how to use the primary care research template. The template is split into two tabs, the research study tab and the clinical trial tab. In order to record a patient's participation, withdrawal or consent in a study or clinical trial, in the relevant box, you must type in the CPMS ID for the study. This is essential to ensure that we can report on individual studies as opposed to a patient that has had any of these codes added to their record. If you'd then like to check what you've recorded, you can click on the new journal on the left hand side on the clinical tree 
And here you can see the entry that I've done today, recording the patient has been consented to the study, invited, and they've consented to review their medical record. You can also see the CPMS ID associated with the code and the study, which will allow us to report on later. To add a read code to the patient record, you click on the red R that is on your toolbar. The read code browser window will then open. In the search box, type the term or the word that you wish to search for, such as diabetes, and then click on the corresponding match in the main list. And then on the right hand side, the child codes will appear, such as type 2 diabetes. Click on type 2 diabetes, and then at the bottom, click OK. You can then free text notes that will be associated with this read code and will show in the journal, such as type 2 diabetes picked up on baseline research screening appointment, then click OK, and this will save it into the record. As shown here in the green, here's the read code that we've just added to the patient record, the associated free text.